Hello, Internet. This is Marchers with Munchies Food Review. My name is Weston. I'm Lewis. And welcome back, folks, to another wonderful episode of Marchers with Munchies Food Review. Now, previously in many videos that we've done, we've taken a look at uh, many, many different brands of pizza, mm -hmm. specifically Domino's and Pizza Hut. And, and you know, they, they hold up standards of quality. They do. Some of their pizzas are fairly good. Some of them are... Pizza Hut. Subpar, yeah. 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 But uh, today we're going to be looking at another big name in the pizza industry, Papa John's. Exactly. Well known for uh, its, its association with the H3, H3 Productions, um, their comments with the NFL, and possibly one of the highest rated and most popular pizza brand in the country. Now, we're not just trying an, a regular pizza. We're trying their new barbecue meats pizza. It's brand new to their menu. It has all the meats they have available. Just oh, just look at that. Just, there, oh, just, 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 there we go. Oh, man, just mm -hmm. look at that. You look got at that. Pepperoni, sausage, bacon. It works. Oh, yeah. The whole nine yards. And... We're going to decipher. You know, some people, when they review pizza, they say, oh, it's the cheese that makes a good pizza, or the crust that makes a good pizza, or the pepperoni, or the, just something. Mm. One, one thing makes a pizza. Mm. I, don't, I don't think that's true. I think that with the pizza, it's not just one particular thing on there. It's an it's a combination of all those things together that make one individual slice. Mm -hmm. Well, well uh, what's your input? Well, I say we should just, you know, get at her, try the pizza as a whole. Like you said, it's not just one ingredient, it's everything that makes it. So, get at her, I guess. Yeah. Uh, a thing that must be noted about this pizza is it does not have traditional pizza sauce. No, 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 no. Ooh, wow, my slice is kind of cut there. Uh, it, it was, a, it was, it's actually been replaced with barbecue sauce. Let's get it over here. Let's eat over the box. Oh, yeah. it's, it's a little bit hot at the moment, but you know, it, yeah. I can get a couple napkins out in here. Kind of degrease, you know. You know, get the, uh, you know, the uh, extra calories out. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just gonna. Try mine as is. Yeah. But oh, so on, on on this slice, mm. we have uh, meatballs, well sausage as they would as it normally has, uh, pepperoni, ham, and bacon, all all in one slice. If you can all yeah. drizzle and cheese, all all yeah. It's just it's barbecue a, it, sauce. Oh yeah, it's a sloppy mess. Um, I think I think we're ready to try. The, oh man, this is so hot. This is fresh. Got it yeah, fresh. Yeah, no, we were like the first pizza of the day. We like they just opened up. Oh, you're already you're already taking it in. You're already taking. It. Is it hot? It's fair. I'm gonna take a nap. In. It's, it's fresh. It's a fresh pizza. Mm -hmm. And you know what? That's not a bad thing. That's that's it at its peak. Mm -hmm. Well, someone's horn's working. Oh, yeah. So, Internet, I do have a bit of a question for you. Is it a waste of money? Is it a waste of money to eat a thousand dollar order of wings that is honey barbecue dipped in gold? I don't think it is. I want to try them, but everybody says that it's a waste of money. I don't see where it is. I don't see where it becomes a waste of money. I want to try it, you know? No. This obviously is not my wallet, so I can't dictate how he spends it. But, I mean, would you watch the review? That's oh, the I'd watch it. I wouldn't pay the money to buy the wings. That's why we have reviews. That's a good point. So, I mean, you know, leave your ideas. Yeah. If yep. you have any ideas on what we should review next, I mean, we're 
We're always down. That is very hot. Mm hmm. But it's a fresh pizza. I will say that much. Mm. A little too fresh. Straight from the Papa's oven. Unfortunately, the Papa wasn't at this, this dining establishment today. No, he had business elsewhere. Yeah. And apparently, he's too good for us. Mm hmm. Pizza's not. Yeah. It's not too good for us, but like, he is. I mean, despite the fact that he's basically been fired from the company altogether, you know, they want to distance themselves away from Papa. Yet he's the face. He's, he's the, the face child. of yeah. He's the face of the company. He's like Ronald McDonald or Chuck E. Cheese. I think I'm gonna try with, with this garlic sauce. I'm gonna save that for the crust. I think. Because, you know, that's what it's meant for. Okay. But, um, I'm going to oh. finish up my slice and yeah. give my two cents. Yeah, uh, one sec. I have to, I have to give the cross-section, the yeah, weekly cross-section. Everybody always has the cross-section. Here it is, the combination of all the meats and cheeses. I'm going to try this garlic sauce. It works. I mean, it's your standard garlic sauce. Oh, yeah. And honestly, for what we got this for, I am actually happy about the price. $12 for a large. Oh, yeah, $12 for a large, but it's quality pizza. Mm -hmm. And there was a sign up front that said we could get two large, two topping pizzas for seven seventy seven, Like, seven seventy seven. And honestly, like, that's not a bad price. And that's a custom pizza. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Um, but I'll I'll give my review on this real quick. Yeah. You know? So the initial taste itself, I was expecting with the barbecue sauce for it to just completely overpower and kind of ruin the pizza. You know, it just would overtake everything and just ruin the entire utter experience due to the fact of which it's just not something you would normally see in a slice of pizza. But the, the taste of the meats and cheeses all worked together very well, and I liked how they blended. You know, the crust wasn't too do too overdone or too underdone. I would, I would think it's just right. It, it, it's just at that perfect point where it's, it's good. It's, it's really well done. Um, the meat all seems fairly well done. I will say the one thing I don't like about meat pizzas like this is the sausage. It's always just taste cheap like I've had th this sausage I can tell you I've had on a Little Caesars pizza I've had on a Marcos pizza I've had on a Jacob's pizza I've had on a Blaze pizza it's the same meat but the way it all forms together you know it works very well the crust it's flaky it's chewy it's crunchy it's just a good addition to that I mean my one complaint probably would be just that you know yeah, there might have been a little bit too much barbecue sauce, but honestly, it wasn't. It didn't kill it, and the powder on the back of the of the crust, it just it, it makes it feel messier. All right, I'll so open up a window or something please, real quick. It's, uh, it's, need it's, a it's starting to uh, swell up a little bit in here, but go ahead and give your review on mm -hmm. this real quick, Lewis, if you'd like. Well, uh, I know I took up like five minutes of just talking about it. Honestly, it's time. Pizza. All right, we got a little airflow going. So, um, hmm. well, you know, initially, take it out, and it's hot, which is never a bad thing, I could, no. guess you could say. It's fresh, it's spread out of the oven, but you get past that, because that's not going to be the case 100% of the time. Um, hmm. It is a little messy, and it's, you know, it's a meat pizza at, at its core, so it's, well, it's greasy. Yeah. It's gonna make a mess. Now... Mm. You good? Yeah, like I said, it's greasy. Yeah. Which, uh... It's a meat pizza. And, you know, it did come together well. I think, uh... The sausage didn't really make that much of an impact. Mm, much of an impact. You good? 
Yeah, no, it's it's a grease. No. Yeah, it is yeah. a bit greasy. I would say before you buy this, before you eat this, Papa pat Tums. it down. Yeah, Papa Tums, pat it down with some yeah, napkins. And you're really gonna be, you're gonna be chugging the Pepto Bismol after this one. Oh dear. Um, but you know the sausage I felt didn't make too much of an impact. The pepperoni, I felt it was a little overpowering in terms of spice. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of a spice, but even then, um. The barbecue sauce is, uh... It's sweet. I wouldn't exactly call it a sweet barbecue sauce, though. Mm -mm. It's got a... It's got a fair kick to it. Yeah, it has more of a, uh... It's a mildish, I'd say. It feels like... It tastes like more of something you put on a wing. Uh, like a honey yes, barbecue yes. wing. It really does taste more like a wing sauce and less mm -hmm. of just an average... Bar like, you wouldn't see this on, on a rack of ribs. No, no, no. You would see this on, like, Buffalo Wild Wings. But. It's uh, it's got some punch to it, and a lot of people like that. A lot of people don't. That's, it's just a preference. Um, <clears throat> the cheese is alright. Wasn't the best thing in the world. It, I just like cheese personally. Yeah, That's honestly, it I, it was kind of mm -hmm. lacking in the cheese department. I think there could have been a lot more added in mm -hmm. there. It didn't really feel like there was any there. Yeah. And. uh you know, the crust is, you know, it's crunchy, it's not terribly soft, it's not a brick. It's a fairly, it's actually a pretty good crust for pizza. Yeah, I would argue it's probably one of the better crusts I've had. Yeah. But, uh, you know, all in all, the pizza's, for large, it's four slices, I'd say it's worth the price. Yeah. Twelve bucks. Um, my rating of it, all things considered, probably, um... Uh, Seven and a half out of ten, I'd say. How about you? I mean, yeah. The last thing I would say is probably the cheese was a bit lacking. You know, it is it is a combination of all these flavors together, and I think I think the barbecue sauce had a role to play in that when it came to the cheese part of it. Um, but you know, all in all, the rest of it was was very well done. It was probably one of the better pizzas I, I've had from a fast food chain, from a fast food like pizza chain. Um, this is my first time having Papa John's. I've never had really? it before this right now. Oh, wow. I've just never had it. But I would have to rate it probably out of 10, probably closer to like an 8.5 or an 8.7. Right. I know I know you said 7.5, but like this is really good to me. I really do like this. I'm not going to give this 10 because I'm trying to like be more weighted on that kind of scale. But I do like this. I really do like this. I would eat this again. Right. But uh, any, any last minute comments, any last minute things you want to talk about before we leave? end this up um yeah hmm. not not in particular i mean live your life live moss live moss right. anyway this has been marchers with munchies food review make sure to like and subscribe check out some of our other videos and content my name is weston i'm Lewis. and we will see you all next time